Hello and you're very welcome to English Logica's preposition series. Prepositions are small words but they cause a lot of confusion in English because they have so many different uses. In this video we're going to look at prepositions of direction. Prepositions of direction do with people and objects and their movement from one place to another. Across. Across is a preposition used to describe the movement of an object or a person from one surface to another or from one area to another. So you can go across a river, you can move books across the table or drive across the city. When you drive, it is important to wear a seatbelt across your body. Through is used to describe something that goes in one side and out another side. I couldn't hear you on the phone, I was going through a bridge. Don't walk through the house with dirt on your shoes. You can walk through a crowd of people. I got through the crowds to be at the front at the concert. Or we can use through to talk about getting past an obstacle. The parking is through the gate on your right. The rain was coming through a leak in the ceiling. Along and alongside. Along is used to describe a continuous movement. So I can run my hand along my arm. I drove along the canal yesterday. Along can be used when the movement is continuous with something else. So you can say, I walked along the wall or I walked along the river yesterday. I walked along the road toward the school. Around. When you want to say that something got past an obstacle or is located there, we use around. John is around the rock. Go around the garden to park the car. Onto and off. When we move something to a place where it's in a position, where it is in contact with something else, we can use onto. Can you put the forks and knives onto the table for dinner? The car drove onto the main street. When we move something off or off off, the object no longer has any contact with that surface. I took the painting off the wall. I didn't like it. Take her handbag off the table. It might get stolen. We are more likely to say off in modern English, but off and off of are usually interchangeable. Into and out of. Into describes the movement of an object into a place where it is surrounded by a boundary. For example, my house has walls, so I can say, I came into the house through the door. And my cup stopped the coffee from getting out, so I can say, can you put some sugar into my cup? Or if I make a circle with my friends, it has a clear boundary, so I can say, come into the circle. And out of is the opposite. It describes the movement of an object or a person from a space surrounded by a boundary to a place where there is no boundary. Up and down. Up and down are pretty straightforward prepositions and they relate to things that are in a higher or a lower position than where we are now. So I can look up and look down or I could move in a place up or down on a map. I'm thinking of going up to Scotland this weekend. Salmon swim upriver to breed once a year or travel up to the next floor in a building or place on a chart or a table. She was down three places from her position last year. Towards or away from. Towards is used to describe something which is in a position closer to where you are now and away from is used to describe something that is moving in a position further away from where you are now. If I am moving towards something, I am getting closer to it. The object is getting nearer and nearer. If I am moving away from something, it's becoming further away. Before the accident, I could see the car coming towards me. I hate this city. 
I can't wait to get away from here. You should stay away from the ocean when the tide is changing. It's dangerous. These are some of the most used prepositions of direction. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining how to use them. Visit www.englishlogica.com for comics, write-ups and more on prepositions.